Meanwhile, on the second level, Safa goes down on Luscious Leggy. Morning bang, trying, yeah. Oh, she's already ripped off her Ho Chi Minh victory panties. Yeah, Moang Bang, huh? She used to wear those around her French general. Granddad just to piss him off. Yeah, got his ass blown off and Dim Bam Phew had to get out of there. Yeah, and uh, Safo makes uh, all her leggy, leggy lover uh, a wet as mush. Yeah, passionate licking, you know, tantalizing tongue buds, lave. Mm, volcanic micro tip of her tongue. Ah. Uh, on that young clit, oh, pearl, oyster, and uh, that's when uh, Sappho flashes uh, swift as the flight of Cupid's arrow. She had discovered the oyster pearl child within herself. Little backstory, we haven't flashed back that far, but way back in Puerto Rico, uh, Sphinx gave her that, uh, that mission, find the oyster pearl child within She's found it, and, uh, well, back down, seventh level. Yeah, when the lights went out for Omar, swirling dust. Oof, uh, yeah, finally settles down. Uh, well, the uh, bulging eyes of the trogs, uh, nine pale ones, uh, they're ratcheted on Sphinx because undoubtedly Sphinx is the only one worldly wise enough to, uh, you know, I'll pull off this mission, get Omar's dead body to bulk, dispatch my re re body to bulk. Yeah, they heard it. And uh, complex uh, escapade, huh? I mean, imagine the profound organizational ability required to, uh, you know, you got a 100-and-old dead saint, seven levels down in a cave tomb. It's 4,000 kilometers from here. Bulk, peak of summer, blistering hot. When caravans stop crossing the deserts of Persia and Afghanistan. Great Salt Desert, no. Desert of Death, well named. Well, thanks. Uh, stunned by this unexpected, out of the blue task deliver the corpse while, uh, I hate to bring this up because the narrative has been so flowing, you know, and I just got my coal eye makeup, my Ottoman uh, Afghani uh, coal eye makeup has come in. Oh, you're gonna see me all, you know, mm -hmm, mysterious really soon. Uh, you know, those King hash pins of Europe, Mm. They're insisting on Sphinx delivering one more shipload. I mean, really a ship, his private peace yacht. They want another boatload of the assassin hashish, the rarest, potentest hashish in the world from the Queen of Chitral. Uh, oh, Sphinx, huh? Mm. Wants to get her. Uh, yeah, northwest Pakistan, oh, up in Shachal, there's no way to get up there. And six fives, oh, mm. give me a break. I just smuggled 400 kilograms of assassin from Karachi in my white crystal flagged up yacht to the Greek islands, to the catacombs of Matala, to buy a zone. Well, <laughs> 880 pounds of Primo, and what happened? It's Posh's fault. That book tour, the hippie history of hashish, it got the coffee house owners just inflamed. There's been a rush never before in the history of Europe. He mentioned assassin, and now, I mean, you got, you know, 113 coffee houses all wanting the assassin now. 880 pounds, gone, 10 days. They, they need another load now. It's seasonal. All you growers know, October's the, okay, how many crops can you get? Shrink, go back and get. Well, he, he'd love to, but now he's the girl, the body. Oh, 
world-class smuggling rod. Like I said, we only got one body at a goddamn time. We need more bodies to do more spiritual adventures and get stuff done. Uh, colossal balancing act. I don't mind fuck. I know I got to figure this out. Well, the, the white lips. Imagine white lips. They're not even red anymore of the tr pale trogs. They, they're quivering now uncontrollably and, oh, you know, breaking out in facial twitches, uh, wringing their, their bony translucent finger. You can see the bones through the skin. We're talking freaky, like an underwater blind shrimp. Uh, They it dawns on them, dawn, that they must face the bright, way too yellow sun uh, itself soon in the world up above. Oh, unimaginable. They kind of remember light. Oh, birds. Well, and oh, uh, cypress trees blowing in the wind. When they were children, uh, oh, look, uh, okay, Trogs, Sphinx, it's gonna calm, calm them down. I mean, they're suffering. Trogs, dead bodies, Trogs, come here around the body. Let's smoke one final memorial hookah. For Dusty. Let's do it for Dusty. Oh, well, well, they're, you know, the Royal Falcon hookah has got, uh, it does have uh, 10 slinky cords coming out of it. Perfect. So they each, mm. oh, and mellow out. Oh, jeez. Um, hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, uh, pale ones. You know, it's nine of them. It takes a while. Sucking on the hubble bubble. The Egyptian, well, now he's a mummy master. Got to draw back on that. Uh, Sphinx expertise, huh? Going back, you know, 50,000 years. If Allah wills, I will grant the last commandment of my guru. Yeah, return his body to Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, he can't figure this out. His freaking mind is like, you know, a worn out pair of scissors at this point. He needs some insightful, dirty Tibetan lightning strikes up in the cerebrum. So, uh, yeah, Buddha's bardo, huh? Between death and rebirth, let's just go in there where it's quiet for complete, spontaneous, spiritual intuition. He perspiring under the pressure, huh? until the quintessentially cool and slippery word, ice, slips from his lips. Yeah. Pale ones, we need ice. Coffin heaped with ice chips to pack around the body of Omar. <sighs> so he doesn't decompose on his final journey to Afghanistan. Oh, yeah. Ice? Ooh. Slippery ice, especially, huh? I slip around all the uh, body uh, curves. Orifices? 